Alrighty, welcome back everyone. Scarland here bringing you a new Neverwinter video. And today we have some sneaky little news. Uh, now me personally, I don't like when they do this kind of stuff because there's a lot of players in the community that don't use social media, right? Uh, they're not on Twitter, they're not on Facebook, you know. And when they make little posts like this and only make them available through their social media, a lot of people miss out on this kind of stuff. Uh, and that's why you have me, right? That's why we make videos. That's why we have content creators to, to tell you guys what's happening in the game. So today, we are going to be talking about teleportation hubs. Yes, they are coming into Neverwinter. So, on October 2nd, on the official Neverwinter Twitter, again, if you don't follow Neverwinter on Twitter, or you don't use Twitter, then you probably missed all this stuff. But on their, on their official Twitter account, they posted this on October 2nd. While resting in Protector's Enclave, you spot something slightly obscured by the foliage. Now, everyone went nuts about this. Nova's on board, you know, everyone. It had a lot of communication in this tweet, which is weird because usually the Neverwinter tweets don't get much action. No one really interacts with the Neverwinter account. So, and then they even said, could it be a glimpse into the future? Okay, so we have an image on our screen here, uh, and it's a portal stone, give or take, or a monolith, right? It looks like a monolith. It's a it's some kind of crystal. We, we had no idea what this was, okay? Everyone was trying to figure it out. Was it part of future content? Was it a sneak peek into what's coming in Mod 20? Uh, no one knew. Uh, this area, by the way, is right across from Sergeant Knox, okay? Keep that in mind. So that, again, was October 2nd. So if we go up a little bit, now, October 6th, which was yesterday, I'm filming this video on October 7th of 2020. So this was posted yesterday. No longer obscured, you get a sudden flash of these monoliths across various traveled lands. Is this a future vision? An alternate realm? Should you touch this rune-covered stone? And again, they posted another picture of what these monoliths are going to look like. Right? Now, this isn't a discussion of itself. Uh, when I first saw this, it really threw me off. I thought it was going to be a sneak peek into the new class. Uh, when you're talking about teleportation, and I've played previous MMORPGs in the past, uh, Druid, guys, Druid. This screams 100% Druid. And we were all under the indication that the newest class coming into Neverwinter was most likely going to be the Bard. Uh, some people did make hypothesis uh, saying that it could be a Druid. Um, is this another hint? Is this another prelude that maybe Druids are coming into the game? Or is this something completely just irrelevant and just going to solely revolve around their newest feature, which again is teleportation hubs, which we are going to discuss. But when I first saw this, and you're talking about teleportation, and these look very foresty to me, and it just screams druid. Uh, these stones, they look like, it doesn't look like a rock, it looks like tree bark to me, like the brown background here. This looks like a, a part of a tree. And then you have these uh, druid uh, symbols on them, right? I don't know if it's a druid symbol, but to me, it appears to be a druid symbol. So, you're talking about teleportation. Uh, druids, druids are known to teleport in many MMORPGs. Mm -hmm. So, you're kind of making all these hypotheses. Uh, we thought that it was going to be the Bard is going to be the newest class, but maybe it's not. Maybe they are going to surprise us, and maybe the Druid might be coming into the game. So, this was posted uh, yesterday, and then finally today, uh, October 7th, again, is when I'm filming this. Upon touching the monolith, you are teleported to dot dot dot. And then they provided a link to the spoiler and everything has now been revealed. So when you click on this link, it takes you to a official message board post here. And this is what these are all about. So, greetings adventurers. 
with the upcoming release of The Redeemed Citadel Part 3 on PC, we are also introducing a quality of life update. Teleportation to Hub, aka Teleportation Hubs. This feature will allow players to set a hub, aka a waypoint, essentially, and the ability to teleport to the set zone. Hubs can be found across many zones, providing players options based on their current adventuring needs. Teleport, uh, teleporting will have a one hour cooldown that can be sped up with Astral Diamonds. Teleportation is not available in the introductory maps, the tutorial maps, uh, player versus player environments, or during combat. So if you're in combat, you can't just hit your teleportation hub and get out of combat, you know, an easy escape route. Teleportation is done by interacting with a new icon attached to the minimap. This same icon can be found on zone maps to identify the location of teleportation monoliths. So not every map in the game is going to be a teleportation hub per se, uh, and you have to set your waypoint, and it's a set destination. So the one, we know 100% factual, that there is going to be one in Protector's Enclave, for instance, and it's right behind Sergeant Knox. Sergeant Knox is like right here, so the teleportation hub is right across from Sergeant Knox. This is what it'll look like on your mini-map. So to set this teleportation hub, you would essentially just click on your mini-map, set your waypoint to this hub, and then you would have an access point to this hub. So there are many unknown factors here. Uh, what maps are going to have these hubs? Are they only going to be cities? Um, you know, uh, is it going to be like the port uh, in mod 12 and 13? Like, is it going to be the Redeemed Citadel itself is going to have an access hub maybe? Um what all maps are going to have these teleportation hubs? That's unknown right now. We don't exactly know. We continue to be committed to not only bringing new content to the game, but also addressing more areas that provide a richer experience in gameplay flow. We look forward to your feedback or suggestions for additional zones for teleportation monolith placement. So again... Only select zones are even going to have these accessible. Uh, and I would imagine they're going to be all of the major cities that we have in the game currently. And maybe some adventure zones. I don't know. We won't know until this uh, officially releases. Which is going to be uh, November 11th. I believe. I don't know why this says console. This should say PC here if I'm not mistaken, right? Uh, this feature will be available November 11th on console. I, I believe that's a typo. This should say PC. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, right? Uh, Milestone 3 should be starting on November 11th on PC. Right? Or no, maybe I am incorrect. Am I incorrect in that? Um, Milestone 2 for console starts... On October 13th, so I guess this is correct. Uh, November 13th would be a console release then? So when is this coming on PC? I guess next week then, right? Because Milestone 3, aka Part 3, on PC should be starting next week on Tuesday as well, which is the 13th of October. So I guess this is correct. It'll be coming on console November 11th. Which is when console will get milestone three. Uh, so yeah, let's let's talk about it. Let's briefly talk about this. What's my opinions on this? Uh, what's the overall point of this? What's the objective? Uh, and let's just get into the nitty gritty here. I mean, let's call it how I see it. Uh, this is not for veteran players, right? This this is something that should have been added into the game in the first few years of the game. Uh, I've said it many, many times. We're uh, working on the life cycle of year number eight. Okay? Neverwinter is coming up on its eighth year uh, in about five months, four months, give or take, whatever. Next April, um, we'll be looking at eight years of Neverwinter. So, this 
kind of quality of life improvement should have been in the game a long time ago. Uh, this whole system is revolved around players that obviously don't have VIP, right? Uh, if you already have VIP rank 4 or higher, then you have access to the signpost, which essentially lets you teleport to wherever you want, right? So, this quality of life improvement, hands down, 100%, is for all the free-to-play new players <clears throat> coming into the game that don't have VIP yet, right? This is seen upon many, many MMORPGs. I mean, let's look at World of Warcraft. I mean, this is essentially the same thing as a hearthstone. Uh, I mean, it literally is a hearthstone, aka you can teleport to your home city or wherever you have your hearthstone bound to uh, once an hour. Let's look at a recent example. Let's look at New World. Uh, we just played uh, beta tested, alpha tested, whatever you want to call it, New World earlier this year. Uh, they have a feature just like this. Once an hour, you can respawn back to your bound position uh, in the inn. Uh, so whatever inn you bound yourself to, every hour you had a free teleportation available to you. Let's go back to the old school days, uh, which I enjoyed this uh, feature back in old school EverQuest days. Certain characters, uh, specifically casters, would have a spell that was called Bind Affinity. Uh, and that essentially bound your character to a certain spot, uh, if eligible, uh, anywhere in the EverQuest realm. And then you would have a Gate spell that you could cast Gate and you would go back to your bound position. Uh, this has been seen in MMOs for the past, oh, I don't know, uh, three decades. So, yeah, uh, it's now officially coming to Neverwinter. Uh, and I'm not disagreeing with it in the slightest. I mean, yes, it is a good addition. I'm just saying that, yeah, this should have been in the game a long time ago. But it is what it is, and now it currently is coming into the game. And so what what is this going to do for veteran players, or players that already have VIP for that matter? Uh, essentially nothing. Uh, I don't see any reason uh, someone that has a VIP signpost already to ever have to utilize this system. This is 100% solely for those non-VIP users. It is a free-to-play title. If you choose not to purchase VIP, uh, you have to rely on, there's only two teleportation scroll, uh, oh, I'm sorry, there's three, actually, I believe. There's a Protector's Enclave teleportation scroll, there's a Moonstone Mask teleportation scroll, and then the latest one is the Redeemed Citadel teleportation scroll. Those are the only teleportation scrolls in the entire game that a free user would have to utilize. Otherwise, you have to literally run across the maps and go to a zone endpoint to teleport to where you need to go. So, having this on a one-hour cooldown is typical MMO fashion, uh, but this little tidbit here is interesting, is that you can speed it up with Astral Diamonds. So, as a free-to-play user, uh, if you're on PC, for instance, and you just simply don't have access to the ADX because of the enormous backlog, you want to buy VIP, you just can't, and you don't want to swipe your credit card because you want to use the in-game currency to transfer into Zen and then purchase VIP. Uh, this is another method. I mean, you can start using Astral Diamonds to increase the cooldown, and then at least have some uh, access to te teleportation, I guess. Again, we don't know what all maps are going to have this. I imagine it's going to be every main city that we have in the game, and then maybe some adventure zones. I'm not sure. We're not going to know until this system gets released. So there is no real downfalls, honestly, but there's no real benefits to, like, the end gamers, the veteran players, the top one percenters. This system isn't for you. Like, I know a lot of you are going to be mad, right? A lot of you are going to say mean things, uh, and why is this happening? It doesn't benefit me at all. Boo, freaking who? Uh, get over it. This system isn't for you. Th this system is for little Timmy and little Susie that just started playing the game two months ago and haven't decided if they fully want to commit to opening their wallet and then buying VIP. So this gives them a little sneak peek of 
how teleportation would work in Neverwinter, and then if they do decide to open their wallet and give money to Cryptic Studios and purchase VIP, remember, you have to have rank 4, so that's $40 minimum to get a signpost. Uh, someone could correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I believe you unlock the signpost at rank 4. So you figure $10 per month. Uh, every month you buy VIP, you increase your rank to a maximum of 12, which is one year. So essentially it costs $40 up front to get to rank 4, and then you have to maintain your VIP status as well. So this is a good quality of life improvement for new players or casual players. Uh, I don't have a problem with this. Uh, I'm Like I said, me personally, I'm probably never going to utilize this system. W which also brings up the next topic of discussion, and then we're going to wrap this video up, is let's play the What If game, guys. Uh, and this is a scary, scary What If game, and this is a scary, scary hypothesis. But let's just say we already know that they are going to be rework reworking the VIP reward system, what if they remove signposts out of the game? Now, this would be a very, 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 very stupid idea to do. You are going to piss off 90% of your community, 90% of your player base, uh, and if you do remove the signposts, you are just, you are going to have a bunch of angry people uh, because we've had it for almost eight years and people are accustomed to playing around with the signpost, having fast travel, etc., etc. All of a sudden, just to remove that out of the game uh, during your revamp of the VIP rewards, that, in my personal opinion, would be a horrible, horrible mistake. But we have to look at it. You have to look outside of the box. Would Cryptic Studios actually do that? And what would they do to calm all of the angry people down if they're going to rework the entire vip system the ranks the rewards what we get etc they're gonna have to make some significant changes uh in the positive category and in the in the positive direction to be removing such a key feature of the game so just think about that though what if they actually did remove signposts out of the game and now everyone has to rely on the teleportation hubs, which you can only use once per hour, but then you can spend AD to speed up the process. Now, me personally, if you've ever watched me stream, I use my signpost probably, I don't know, uh, 40 times per stream? Uh, maybe more. So, the signpost is a significant way of traveling around in Neverwinter, and it has been for a long time. I would hate for them to remove that feature. But you have to look at it objectively and look at it on the table as this could possibly happen if they introduce this system. I don't think they are. Um, me, personally, I think what this system is, is for the casual players, the new players coming into the game, they get a little sneak peek of what VIP will do for them if they decide to open their wallet. And this is like a stepping stone of <clears throat> Cryptic essentially saying... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I was basically saying, yes, we want you to obviously open your wallet, we want you to buy VIP, we want you to have access to all these rewards, here's a little glimpse, here's a little teaser, you can teleport once an hour kind of thing to select areas, blah, 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 blah. So that's all I got for you guys today, I mean, just a little discussion video, this all just came out today, uh, teleportation hubs, they are coming, uh, they're releasing, uh, Redeem Citadel, Milestone 3 on PC, which is actually next week, uh, October 13th. And then on console, it'll be a mount, uh, month later on November 11th. So that's all I got for you guys. Leave me comments below. How do you feel about this? Uh, you know, teleportation hubs. Is it, is it a prelude to the Druid? Is the Druid going to be the new class coming in the game? Or do you guys still think it's going to be the Bard? Or is it going to be both? Can you imagine if Cryptic actually surprised us with both? I don't see that happening. But w what if? What if it is going to be the Druid and everyone thought it was going to be the Bard? That's all I got for you, folks. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. really helps the YouTube algorithm. Make sure to leave me comments below. Join in the discussion. Join the Discord. Join, you know, Get in there. Get in that community. Uh, and yeah, that's all I got for you guys.
I'll see you guys real soon.